Today let's talk about why the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube. And of course we'll be using the disk method for finding the volume of real solution. So first, a sphere is just like a basketball. And to do the volume of revolution, we will have to have this shape, which is just a semicircle. And then we do a rotation, let's say about the x-axis, and then we can get a sphere. Okay, so I'm just going to draw this right here for you guys. We start with a sphere like this. Let's say the radius is r, so we go from negative r to r. And then we do a rotation about the x-axis. This way, we get our sphere. Now, we will need to know the equation of this semicircle. Firstly though, we know that x squared plus y squared equals r squared gives us the whole circle by just one the semicircle. So, let me bring the x squared to the other side and then take the square root on both sides and just the positive version. So we get y equals square root of r squared minus x squared. Then if you look at the 3D picture here, what we are going to do is, we start with a rectangle here, and then rotate this about the x-axis, and this is how we are going to get a disk, like this. And remember, the volume of a disk it's equal to the area of the circle, pi r squared, times how thick the disk is. So let's say multiply by thickness. So take a look right here. r in this case is the vertical distance from here to here, which is just the y. And the thickness is this much, which is just a change in x. So that will be denoted by dx. And the connection is, the dx is precisely the width of this rectangle, and the y is the height of this rectangle. Now, the volume of this red disk is just a small change in the volume, so we can write that as dv. It is just going to be pi, and the r is the y, so we have y squared, and the thickness is the dx. Small change in the volume, and we just have to add up all such volume of the disks, then we can get the whole thing. So, volume equals integral, pi is pi. Y is not allowed in the x world, but it's okay, because we know y is equal to this. So that's square root of r squared minus x squared, and then we still have a square right here, and we are in the x world. So. We look at this to that, we go from negative r to r. Cool. Now have a look. Square and square root cancel very nicely, and pi is just a constant, so we can put that outside. So we have pi here. Have a look. This integral goes from negative r to r, and this right here is actually an even function. You can just look at the picture right here as well. Whatever you have on the left, you have the same thing on the right. So, we can actually just integrate this by instead of going from negative r to r, just go from 0 to r and then double the result. Right? Just go from 0 to r and double the result. 0 to r, and then I will double the result. And then right here we have parentheses, and then this is just r squared minus x squared, and then dx. Now we can just work this out. 2 pi all the way in the front. The integral of r squared in the x world is r squared times x. Why? Because r is just a constant. You can just think about it as integrating 4 squared dx. Do not say the answer is equal to 1 over 3 x, I mean 4 to the third power. No. Don't do that. Because we are in the x world. 4 squared is just like 16, right? So the integral of 16 is 16 x. So we can write this as 4 squared times x. So it's just like that situation here. Then, integrating negative x squared in the x world, this is the time we do the reverse power rule, and we get negative 1 third x to the third power. 
And then we go from 0 to r. Plugging r first, so we get 2 pi times r squared times r minus 1 third times r to the third power. And then if you plug in 0 into here, we get 0. Likewise, plugging 0 into here, we get 0. So the whole thing is just minus 0. And then just work this out, we get 2 pi times r cube minus 1 third r cube and get the common denominator, which is just 3 over 3 here. And then the inside will give us 2 over 3 r cube. And ladies and gentlemen, after we multiply this out, 2 times 2 gives us the 4, and then we have the over 3, pi r cube. And this is the formula for the volume of a sphere. That's it.